Hi, I want to send our greetings to you. Uh, we trust you're well. In fact, that's an interesting question, isn't it? How, how are you? Uh, I guess it depends on what you're looking at. I guess most people, when they ask, how are you? Uh, they're thinking physically. Are you doing well physically? Are you looking after yourself during this time? Uh, I know for us, uh, actually this kind of enforced rest has uh, caused us to have some better rhythms, uh, better eating patterns probably, uh, certainly better exercise patterns. I've lost a few pounds by doing that. So we're doing well physically. How about spiritually? How are you doing spiritually? What's this lockdown been like for you? Has it for you been a time of pressing into God? Has it for you been a time of being able to read more of his word, being able to talk to him more, being able to, as it were, put those roots down deep into him and draw up from him life from the spirit? But I also want to ask you, how have you been emotionally? See, I think that's the, the gauge that we don't look at as much. We're often aware physically how we do. Hey, we need a holiday. We need a break. Great. We're aware spiritually. We can pray, lay hands on one another and receive the Spirit instantaneously. We can be forgiven in a moment. But I think during this time, our emotions have been really, really affected. And I wonder how aware are you about your emotional health? I've read a couple of excellent books over the years. One uh, a year or so ago called The Emotionally Healthy Leader by uh, Pete Scazzaro. If you haven't read that, I thoroughly recommend that. But more recently, I've come across this book, uh, John Marcoma's excellent book, the Ruthless Elimination of Hurry. And uh, in it, John is arguing for us to be aware of rhythms in our life, to, for us to be aware of rest, for us to be not a hurried people, but a people at rest, a people who know what it is to be in touch with God and also in touch with our emotions. And uh, I don't know what it's like for you. What kind of uh, picture you have of your emotions? I used to think of it more like a cup and, uh, you know, this cup uh, is full of sadness and full of loss and therefore I need to empty it out and fill it up with joy and peace. And actually, I read recently, it's a little bit more like a scales, not just a cup, but scales. And on the scales of humanity, uh, on the scales of our lives, yes, there's the scale of joy and peace and we want to have that Oh, we want to keep receiving from him and we keep one of being those who display the fruit of the spirit. Jesus was the one. I think it was the writer of the Hebrew says he was anointed with joy above his fellows. He was a fun guy to be around, full of the spirit, full of life, full of joy. And we want to be like that. But also Isaiah talks about the Messiah, the coming one, our Lord Jesus, being a man acquainted with grief and uh, uh, aware of suffering and uh, um, he wept, didn't he, over Jerusalem, grieved over Jerusalem. He, he was this man of sorrows. He, he wept at Lazarus's funeral. And uh, I think we in this season need to be more aware of grief, uh, more aware of loss. Uh, I think there's been massive losses in our lives. I know, uh, you know, it's so difficult, the loss of friends, not seeing our friends, the loss of freedom, really not being able to go where we would like to go and see who we'd like to see and enjoy who we'd like to be enjoying God with. And then actually there's the physical loss of loved ones. We've personally lost loved ones during this season and uh, we're grieving with those who grieve. The Bible tells us, doesn't it? Rejoice with those who rejoice, but grieve with those who grieve. And this sense of us being aware of our emotions. And uh, I just want to commend you during this time to be emotionally aware. The world talks about emotional intelligence and we want to be emotionally aware. We want to be those who know what it is to rest, have good rhythms in life, to be those who know what it is, that actually we can be at peace with God, even during these difficult times, that we can be aware of what it is to lament and to suffer loss and to be long-suffering but also to be those who are full of joy and full of the spirit and full of life. So we pray you're well. We pray you're well physically. We pray you're well spiritually. But we also pray that you're well, mature, emotionally. God bless you. We send you our love and our greetings.